So this is my canoe trailer and uh, I made another video on it and um, somebody was asking about how I mounted it to the trailer and uh, so I figured I'd make and they wanted me to make another video on the dimensions and how it's mounted to the trailer. I'll show you how it's mounted to the trailer in the back. You can see it's just a uh, two by or a four by four and then this already uh, I believe it already had uh, holes here and there for tie downs or something. So I just used the existing holes. And in the front, I mounted this 4x4 down to the trailer right there into these brackets to hold that. And then I mounted the front of the uh, trailer to, or the front of the rack uh, to the 4x4 that way. Um, Let's see, uh, I'll give you some dimensions on it, um, and then I'll talk about, my friend made a trailer, or not a trailer, but a, an insert like this, we'll talk about that in a minute. So, down here at the bottom, it is uh, 32 inches from there to there, 32 inches wide. At the top, it's 11. Um, there are 20 inches from the top of that to the bottom of that 20 inch gap in between uh, overall length of these is five foot so and then uh, the length of the tri the the rack from here from the back of this to the front of this right here is 100 inches so there to there 100 inches and then i just have some x bracing in the middle right there right here and there to keep it from uh wiggling back and forth and uh, i don't know this is uh it's 10th year i had to do a little bit of uh things to it recently i put new lights on it and uh new tires on it but this has held up for the last 10 years, and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, so my buddy, he has a 12-foot cargo trailer. Not a cargo trailer, 12-foot uh, utility trailer. And he made this same thing, but instead of uh, this, he put 4x4s on the bottom to make it like a skid. So he can set it right on his utility trailer. This whole this whole mount system, he can pick it up with his Kubota with a front end loader, set it on the trailer, and load the canoes onto it. And then he just takes uh, lag bolts and bolts it to the floor. Um, this year he actually uh, these are full length, 96 inches across, so eight foot. Um, and eight foot is as wide or a little bit wider than his trailer, so he was able to actually use a, uh, a ratchet strap and ratchet strap these down too just to make sure it didn't go anywhere um, so that's another option you could do if you have a utility trailer and you don't have a spare jet ski trailer laying around uh, you just you know connect the front and back and then you have skids and then when you're done with it you could take it off and leave your canoes on it just cover them up or whatnot um, i hope this video helps you um, if it does please uh subscribe to my channel it helps me out thanks